So this tutorial is again based on what we saw last time, but it'll be a little bit more detail. And um, but if you understand this one, I think uh, you will not be getting too much in this uh, this lecture as well. But um, anyway, let's get started. So deep dive into SAML flow. Because once you understand this SAML flow, it is kind of similar to OIDC, not exactly similar, but I mean, you'll, you'll see some similar patterns when you kind of learning this OIDC patterns. So there's definitely a security boundary, right? Which is one side is in one part of the world, let's say, I mean, it can be in the same place, but let's say the other part is in a different place. The application is running in a different location. So you'll have this application here. Let's call it app one. And it has some database, for example. And then on this side of the fence, you'll have the our famous user with a browser. And then we'll have the identity management system. And I'm going to call it identity management system from now on because they call it by different ways. We call it IMS, Identity Management Systems, Identity Management System. So it's good to be familiarized with different terminologies. So this is what happens, right? So I'm going to uh, draw a line here. So what is the first step, right? The first step is the user sending a request to the application right and if you remember last time this is the service provider right the whatever is providing you the service is typically called the service provider so the user sends a request to the service provider url so that is the first thing user sends request to service provider url okay so what happened next the next is the app says the web app says i don't know who you are right i mean in layman terms i don't know you So it redirects with a 3.2. I mean, this is like a web application. It's typically a redirect, right? And then it's going to send to the identity management system. So this will be the two. So it redirects 3.02. And what's the third step, right? The third step is the identity management system here. Since this is the first time, even the identity management system doesn't know who the user is, right? IDMS, no clue. So what's going to what is it going to do? It's going to display a username password, right? So that'll be the fourth step. This will be the second step, and the third step is it's going to display username password screen somehow. And then the user, typically, I mean, this is coming by the browser, right? And then, and then the the IDMS IDMS system is going to validate the credentials. And then once it does it, this is where all the magic happens, right? And then I'm going to make it as a different color. The IDMS sends back. like SAML assertion. And this is an XML based. Remember, SAML was created when XML was very popular. So it was obviously, they took that um, kind of uh, technology uh, to transmit the response data back to the application. So this has a lot of interesting details, uh, but one of the important things is it has like user data. 
which talks about the the roles permissions and other details right so that this application can extract the values and you can provide different services one of the things is whether this user has access to this application itself right so that's one of the things it's going to check so this is um, a kind of an interesting flow right again this is maybe confusing in the very beginning but once you kind of get this a uh, kid uh, get this picture and then if you're able to draw it yourself you will not forget this concept and this whole flow is called sp service provided initiated flow why because the user kind of calls the application which again is called the service provider the server initiates this flow and the service provider is the one that's kind of taking charge right i mean so it's kind of coming from the service provider so it's called the ser yeah, service provider initiated flow you have a, another flow which is also called the identity i'm going to go to the next page which is called so the first one is service provided service provider initiated flow right and the second one is identity initiated flow So what is that? So if you look in this picture here, so it is possible that the user, instead of calling the application's URL, it can, the user, let me draw it again here, the user can call the identity, which is the IDMS, login with the username and password, and then the identity management will provide the user with all the apps that he or she has access to right to app 3 app 4 app 5 app 6 right so the user once they log in one time then they can click on this app 1 or app 3 and then they'll be redirected back to the application right and this is called identity based initiate uh, identity initiated flow because you're starting with the identity and then you kind of go to the application in the opposite of what we looked at so these are the two important flows you'll be talking about in saml and again some of these concepts will trickle to oidc because oidc is a, a successor of saml uh, but like i said in the very beginning saml is still very popular and it's widely used in many many corporate applications and it's not an easy thing to switch to another protocol very easily. I don't want to introduce too many other concepts in the SAML series. And um, but this knowledge, um, if you search for like Okta, hands-on or something like that, you will see how this is implemented using one of these providers. I mean, there's Ping, there's Azure Active Directory, there's many, many identity providers which give you similar examples. And with these all these basic concepts, you will kind of appreciate how this SAML is able to or did solve a lot of problems. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back to the very beginning, and then uh, we're going to wrap this series with um, like where we started and then where we're going to end it. Right. So in this one, I think we addressed this. User remembers only one password, one password and one username, and then with that is able to access many different applications because if you remember here uh, we talked about this kind of um, not this one this arcade uh, let's see not this one yeah this one right here so we saw google aws and you can have another one here uh, so you log in once and you can access different applications which is located in different places like right? google aws or microsoft azure right so you can see see that example here so we solved that problem and then uh, what's the second one mfa we didn't talk about mfa in detail but by using the identity management solution you can enforce that in either okta or ping or azure active directory and then the user if that's enabled you have to log in you have to do the third 
verification and then only then it will authenticate you so it's abstracting that from the application itself so it makes it a lot easier and also this is an important concept we saw the credentials are not sent to the application itself remember it gets redirected and then the application is prompted by the actual identity management so that the application doesn't have access to the user credentials and um, I mean, this is all from the very beginning. The credentials are not duplicated. It's always stored in one place and it's easy to just back up the systems. Or if you're looking to migrate from one provider to another provider, uh, there are mechanisms to do the so too, right? So that's pretty much, uh, that's there to SAML 2.0 concepts. And um, I mean, if you look at a lot of things, there'll be technical jargons and terms, which we can revisit when the time comes. Uh, but for this introductory series, I think this is sufficient. And um, and uh, try to learn some hands-on stuff with these other providers, which I will not be covering as part of this series. Hope you enjoyed and uh, learned a bit. And um, I know my handwriting is not up to the mark, but <laughs> I'm going to try to write a little more legible and make it better for the future series. Okay. Uh, thanks for your time and um, I will come back with uh, some other useful series which I'm um, particularly interested in. Okay, everyone has a nice time. Bye-bye.